But we're going to rip it here with Harlow. It's Wednesday morning, June the 16th. It's a National Nepotism Awareness Day. It would be if we had one. There's a bunch of buzzards that have a deer over here, a deer carcass. And I saw an eagle up here the other day, but it just looked like another bird on film. But I saw the white head. It was a male American bald eagle. But I googled uh, nepotism awareness, and there's no nepotism awareness day on Google. Um, but nepotism and narcissism are products of uh, a lot of society ills, if not 100% of them. Yeah, that eagle was right out here, and. Uh, this is a nice pull off here, but remember uh, when I did a uh, film on this over here and they're digging out here. I, I wanted to show, it's been less than three months ago. This is a big Kruger store marketplace, they call them, I think. And um, it's got these really cool skylights on top, which all of them don't. I'm gonna pull over here by this sign and get out of the car. But three months ago when we were here, they were, wow, that's a pretty good drop off, but we'll, we'll make it over here. It's fine. Here we go. Let's see the four ways on the car. Park. Have a look at this. Um, nature preserve over here. And I had some harsh words for it, like rape and pillage. But nepotism for sure, and that's any town USA, just not the one that I live in. It's uh, someone would come to town from wherever uh, and they get a sandwich and the guy's mom would be the realtor that he meets and then her brother is the judge and it goes on from there the nepotism in America whole cities the size of Las Vegas are run on nepotism and so there seems to be a big uh, demand for housing right beside the freeway interchanges and this um, some really goofball uh, designed this Interchange has been redone a couple times. There's actually a, a very large uh, transcontinental gas line that's like 50 years old that we're standing on top of right now. And they've been staging their equipment in here for months. And then yesterday they started digging, but it's just now 8 o'clock in the morning and they kind of put them back. And there's going to be 51 standalone units with different garages and a gate. And then the fire department, I suppose, would have a code to the gate, and everything in there is owned privately, according to what, with all these tax abatements. There was a lot of infrastructure ran out here to build industrial, and then it was rezoned, high density, residential, and they were bragging about it being a, uh, a gated community. And I, I had words as harsh as I don't really think that's the kind of people I want living around me. And all they are anymore is their glorified hotel room. I remember we used to go to Fort Lauderdale every year before Jimmy Carter ruined our country. And we would stay sometimes at the Conover a lot of times. And it was converted into condominiums, I think. And that's what these people are living. I call them, I call them hotel rooms. And like the Bombastic Loudmouth moved to Morganton for the time being. He's got like a little card club table in there that he's... He talks about how easy it would be to fold it up and to leave town. And when he would go from his his domicile, his house, currently, to a rest home or a jail cell, he, he would have... It would be no change in lifestyle. He wouldn't even know that he moved to the jail cell from, from his current domicile. He has no lawnmower, no toolbox. And that's the way people want to live. These guys um, in the narcissistic and uh, nepotism communities are glad to oblige. This is a nature preserve. And that will be another video for another time. We want to show how close they came and the violations that are going on there um, from an ethical standpoint. But three months ago when we were here, they were raiding the toilet paper out of this store. It's, it's a very, it's almost traumatic experience to shop anymore. I have a lot to say about that. Now there was trees and a, a, a low spot over here and it, all that wildlife is displaced and the ecosystem is destroyed forever on these projects. So I'll make this flat as a pancake over top of the gas line which right there is the marker for the gas line guys. 
I mean, it's like a four foot main transcontinental. And we have some serious business, flat as a pancake here. Uh, there's an artist rendering, so that'll be fun to look at in the future. It shows an outcropping of trees there. Yeah, we'll see about that. But yeah, um, should have been more of a buffer and more things put through. And there, there's no nepotism awareness day. We have one for everything else, you know, National Potato Chip Day. Uh, nepotism and narcissism run amok anytime USA and this is proof of it uh, just uh, here in the last few months even thanks for watching everyone Burger Rippy